The biggest finding was that the coma surrounding 3i Atlas is made almost entirely of carbon dioxide, which means that this object is not a big chunk of water ice like the comets that we are used to seeing, although it does contain some water, but the ratio of CO2 to H2O is measured at 8 to 1, which basically means there is 16 times more CO2 in this object than what you would expect to see in an average comet. And the cloud of CO2 around the object is now thought to be gigantic, with a radius of up to 300,000 kilometers. That's almost half the size of the sun. It's way bigger than what we anticipated based on those first observations in July, and that's also got observers thinking that the solid object at the center of the cloud might be a lot bigger than expected as well. At first, we thought that the core of 3i Atlas might be up to 20 kilometers wide. Then that was tempered down to maybe 11 kilometers, but now based on these new observations, it's thought that the actual size could be as big as 46 kilometers across. That's big, but it's not huge. We have found comets in our own solar system with cores over 100 kilometers wide. But the massive amount of CO2 compared to the small amount of water is something we've never seen before. It's basically the opposite of what we would expect to find in the halo of a comet. So it tells us that this object was created in a star system that has very different raw materials to our own. The ratios are all wrong. 